Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brickazoid's Den. Today I have a ranking list a DC video because I haven't really done one in a little bit, a little, little while. So we are going to be ranking the top five Lego, or not Lego, but DC superheroes that I want to see be made into Lego minifigures. Um, these are going to be all characters that we've never gotten as a Lego minifigure before. And that I feel like we kind of at this point need to get these figures because, you know, they're, they're pretty important. I mean, actually, a couple of them were kind of like my personal choice. So I guess this is mainly my personal choice for minifigures that I'd like to see Lego make. But some of them on the list here are like, they need to happen sooner rather than later. Because it would be amazing and it just would make a lot of sense. So, sadly, we haven't really been getting a lot of DC sets this year so far. I mean, I know it's really, at the time of this recording, it's only April. Um... So, we haven't gotten much, but, you know, you know, uh, hopefully this summer is going to bring us bring us some good stuff. I'm hoping. I'm, my fingers are crossed. My fingers are crossed. But, either way, I'm excited to get into this list, and we'll start with number five. Number five is going to be Etrigan the Demon, which, of course, is from, like, Justice League Dark kind of areas. He's been in, like, the uh, Batman the Animated Series, I believe. I think he was. Or was he in Superman? I don't remember which animated series he was in, but he's in one of them, I think. Um, but, either way... This big figure would be super cool to get. I mean, he's a literal demon. He looks really cool. He has, you know, he's a very cool character in the comics. And um, he could have, like, a huge sword. And I don't care. I mean, there's there was two versions of Etrigan that I was looking at for choosing this list. And it was the Lego Batman 3 version, which is kind of more of, like, his classic, -er, classic design. And then also his DC Supervillains version, which I think is way more interesting. Uh, much more like different very different look from his classical design but if lego were to make this big figure they'd probably go with the classic design uh a little, just to you know because it's the classic one everybody kind of people who know etrigan the demon maybe know him looking like that instead of this dc supervillains version would either way i take either just a really cool big figure that i would love to see put into lego because he is you know he's a pretty somewhat notable character uh he is a part of the justice league dark i believe and there was obviously the Tower of Fate set that was going to include um, Justice League Dark members in that rumor. I believe that was in the... Right? Or am I making that up? Well, Claire and the Witch Boy was supposed to be in a Doctor Fate. Um, but I, I know that they were going that route is basically what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, the, the Lego was kind of going that route of more darker magic kind of using characters for that set. And I think, you know, Etrigan is, falls under that category and could be a very cool addition to the kind of like darker magic kind of characters of dc and to get him as a wild big fig demon form would be very cool to see as well so number five is etrigan the demon so number four on the list here is a bit of a uh obscure choice if you will and that is ambush bug and basically all right let me explain let me explain now for the people who don't know who ambush bug is he's basically he's a dc superhero and um, he was in an episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold. Again, it's a weird choice, I know. But, like, I, I'm, I was, I remember watching Batman Brave and the Bold, and there was this one episode, I think, with Batmite in it, and, like, he, Batman was going through, like, different universes or different versions of himself, and Ambush Bug had to, like, stop Batmite from doing that. I think it was something along those lines. Or they were, like, in a gym or something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know. I couldn't even explain it if I tried. But the point is... Ambush Bug was in that episode. It was like a, a he was a part of it, and I want to see him in Lego now. One of uh, the, that was like one of my favorite Batman Brave and the Bold episodes, and uh, I want a Lego Ambush Bug figure now after watching that episode. And I think it could be kind of cool, you know, have have him in there. He's kind of an obscure character, a weird weird superhero to have. I mean, I'd definitely choose other characters over him, but he would definitely be uh, one on my list for being like you know, if I had to choose a wacky, goofy, obscure superhero. I would take ambush bug because I don't I don't know it just it's very weird very weird but I would totally go for it because he could be very very cool uh, looking design I mean there's he was already in Lego Batman three I think uh, was one of the one of the minifigures or the characters that you could play as in that game uh, I don't know if he was in Super Villain DC Super Villains I don't think he was or he wasn't in any of the other Batman games but he was in Lego Batman three so if there is a design already set up for him so why not just turn it into an actual minifigure. And then put them in a set, put them in a minifigure series, you know, minifigure series number two. That could be kind of cool. I should, oh, I should try and make, like, Lego DC superhero minifigures series or something like that. I don't know. 
I'll have to figure that out. But um, yeah, Ambush Bug is number four. Weird choice, I know, but I want him. So for number three on the list here, I have Booster Gold put down because, well, Booster Gold, after seeing him as a playable character in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, I've wanted him as an actual minifigure ever since. I think he'd be really cool. You know, he'd be like a perfect minifigure for like a minifigure series, you know? If they're able to do like uh, Lego Super DC Superheroes minifigures, whatever, what, Lego DC Super, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Minifigure series 2. They're basically, basically making a second minifigure series. If they were to do that, Booster Gold would have to be in the series, I feel. He would just be perfect. I mean, you could have um, Skeet as his accessory, kind of have like a, maybe like an egg piece, like the egg mold, and then just have it colored gold and then like the the printing uh, with the eye and everything, or maybe they'll even make a new mold for like the little legs on them or whatever they're, whatever they are. Um, and then also I think Booster Gold would look really cool with like his hair and then also the whole design of his suit. I also think he was in DC Super Villains, if I'm not mistaken, so they could use either design of Booster Gold for whatever they decide to do with them if they were to make them again i wish i hope they do at some point they're still holding out hope i mean i, I just hope they make a second lego dc superheroes minifigure series i just want that to be honest with you but yeah booster gold definitely number three here on the list because i would definitely want to see him um anything else. i'm trying to think if there's anything else but no i, I think i think that's it booster gold number three now we have reached top two territory and I think, well, actually, I was going to say that number two would be obvious here, but I don't know just because people, people might think it should be number one. But for me, number two is Dr. Fate. And that is someone who is, like, needed at this point uh, for a Lego minifigure and could have almost happened in the Tower of Fate leak, leaked set, which is a shame that it wasn't real, but I'm still holding out hope for him to come out in the future. Hopefully, maybe in a minifigure series, in a book, maybe... Maybe even in a Tower of Fate set. I don't know, but I feel like Doctor Fate really, really needs to, really needs to show up somewhere. I mean, you could use, you could have like a molded piece for like his onks and stuff. That would be so cool looking. The helmet mold would be incredible. You could have like the the face under it, and especially with the Black Adam movie coming. Oh, actually, that got pushed back to 2023. So maybe we won't see Doctor Fate till 2023. But still, it'd be cool to see him either way. You know, have the Pierce Brosnan face or anything like, or something like that. You know what I mean? Just literally any way to get this minifigure. I don't care. I just want him. I feel like the printing could be really cool. The capes and everything like that. Just a really cool looking minifigure that I think could be translated very, or a very cool character that could be translated very well into a Lego minifigure. Again, we almost got him in the Tower of Fate leak set, but um, obviously that was not true, which is a shame again, but Fingers crossed he, he shows up at some point in the future. Um, and again, I think he's I think he's needed at this point. Like I feel like a lot of fans out there really want to see Dr. Fate put into LEGO in some way, shape, or form. And I am one of those fans. So, LEGO, if you are watching this, which you're probably not, please make Dr. Fate. Now we are at number one. Now this one might get a little bit like, hmm, how do I say this? Kind of not like controversial, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Number one for me is going to be Raven from, like, part of the Teen Titans and everything. Now, we did get a Raven minifigure already. We got the Teen Titans Go versions from the uh, LEGO Dimensions pack, the Teen Titans Go LEGO Dimensions pack, which, I mean, that was all right, but I want a real comic book version Raven straight from LEGO DC Supervillains, and actually also, oh, no, wait, was she in DC Supervillains? I think she was. Uh, and then also LEGO Batman 3, that DLC pack that came with her. So they already have designs made for a classic comic book Raven, and they haven't made her into a Lego minifigure. I mean, we've gotten Robin already, many, many different Robins, but mainly what I'm talking about was the Dick Grayson Robin, like the Teen Titans looking Robin. We've gotten Starfire, we've gotten Beast Boy, we got Cyborg, now we're missing one more of like the TV show Teen Titans. You know, there's obviously more members of the Teen Titans out there, but we're missing one more of the TV show Teen Titans characters. And Raven is that character. Again, we did get Raven in the Teen Titans Go Lego Dimensions pack, but I'm talking I want a full-blown comic book Raven, and I think that needs to happen at some point. I think she could look really cool with the whole purple hood, the face print, the like the, the purple cape as well. Maybe they can make it like longer so she can kind of like wrap herself in it. That would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this minifigure needs, needs to happen. 
um, probably in a minifigure series would also be pretty good for her to fit into. I think that could be maybe the best way to do it. I don't think she would really go well with a with a set. I mean, unless they do like a set with Trigon, which would be kind of cool. But um, yeah, Raven is just somewhat just a character that we need to see in this world of Lego, um, and I want it really, really badly. Um, but yeah, no, just missing that one Teen Titan. She's it, and I want her at some point. Hopefully in the future. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're, we're at this point. I'm just hoping for another Lego DC minifigure series. So. Either way, there is number one. So there you guys have it. Those are my top five choices for Lego minifigures, or Lego or DC superheroes to be turned into Lego minifigures. I'm going to run through them again real quick. Number five is Etrigan the Demon. Number four is Ambush Bug. Number three is Bo Booster Gold. Number two is Dr. Fate. Number one is Raven. I am also working on a top five list of DC supervillains that I'd love to see turned into Lego minifigures at some point, and that'll be out sometime in the future. I don't know. But if you enjoyed that video, do the comedy YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.